These actors may be well-known, but they need a big movie sooner rather than later. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who need a hit movie to save their career. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on actors and actresses that have already had success in Hollywood, but just haven't had much luck lately. Number 10. Sam Worthington I can link with Tommy's avatar, which is insanely expensive. Since his lead role in 2009's Avatar, it's been a rough go for this Australian actor. Sure, there is an Avatar sequel coming in 2020, but Sam Worthington's recent filmography has been anything but spectacular. He remains a working actor with notable roles in blockbusters like Everest and Hacksaw Ridge, but he's undeniably lost his clout as a potential Hollywood A-lister. Plus, his 2014 legal troubles involving the alleged assault of a paparazzo might make directors think twice about casting him. Hopefully, at least one of the four planned Avatar sequels will bring Worthington back to the A-list. It's not something you can teach. <laughs> <laughs> Number 9. Garrett Hedlund But I'm ready, you taught me how to fight! In 2004, this American actor emerged with standout performances in both Troy and Friday Night Lights. At the time, it seemed like Garrett Hedlund would be breaking hearts and cashing checks for years to come. But since 2010's Tron Legacy, he's fallen into a James Dean-type character archetype. You know, the squinty-eyed, cigarette-smoking character we've all seen before. Just take a look at Hedlund's performance in On the Road and Inside Lewin Davis for reference. All the lost dreams laid on you. He's still got heartthrob appeal and maintains a decent Hollywood resume, appearing in 2017's Mudbound. But will Garrett Hedlund become a true leading man or remain a perpetual supporting actor? Sometimes I actually miss it. Number 8. Shia LaBeouf You got me in my hotel! Arrested me in my hotel for doing what, sir? Shia, Shia, Shia. This man used to have it all. Jeez, he was even looking like the successor to Indiana Jones at one point. But then he started acting strange. And whereas some eccentric actors like James Franco have charm, Shia LaBeouf often appears unlikable with his egocentric ways and bizarre behavior. Recently, Shia appears to be back on track with films like Fury, American Honey, and Borg McEnroe. But only time will tell if he's going to be the prototypical indie-minded actor who's committed to the craft or the Hollywood actor who's committed to maintaining a public image. <laughs> Number 7. Megan Fox This car's a pretty good driver. Thanks to the Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchises, this American actress has become a cinematic sex symbol. But many movie fans are wondering what Megan Fox has to offer beyond her obvious sex appeal. Way back in 2012, she showed off a comedic side in Judd Apatow's This Is 40. But we've only seen her as April O'Neil since then. So as Megan Fox enters the next stage of her career, she doesn't have much on her resume besides critically lambasted franchise movies. She may live a comfortable life, but will she have a legacy beyond her most famous roles? By the time I'm 40, these are gonna go National Geographic on me. Number 6. Jai Courtney Would you have chosen differently? Out of fear? If you're not familiar with this Australian actor, then you probably haven't seen the Divergent movie franchise. He's also reached mass audiences with roles in Suicide Squad and Terminator Genesis. But here's what his fans want, a leading role in a major Hollywood film. His 2016 movie The Exception didn't exactly kill at the box office. In fact, it made less than a million dollars. While he recently showed off a good sense of comedic timing in Netflix's Wet Hot American Summer 10 years later, his IMDb page is relatively sparse in regards to future big budget projects. Here's hoping that changes. I'm gonna miss the flight. Number five, Charlie Hunnam. It ain't easy being king. Yeah. For seven seasons on FX's Sons of Anarchy, this man was so good in the leading role that many viewers didn't even know he's actually from England. Unfortunately, Charlie Hunnam's transition into feature films hasn't exactly won him the same renown. It's not like he hasn't been given the opportunity, however, with roles in Crimson Peak and King Arthur Legend of the Sword but he's still at a cinematic crossroads, so to speak. Why have enemies when you can have friends? If Charlie Hunnam's leading role in the Papillon remake doesn't connect with mainstream audiences, then we just may see him returning to the small screen, although that might not be a bad thing. What with streaming services like Netflix and Hulu on the rise. If I can't do this for eight days, I got no business playing this dude who endured it for five years. Number four, Taylor Lautner. Just don't get mad, okay? As of now, 
This buff American actor's career has been defined by the Twilight Saga. For some, Taylor Lautner is Jacob Black, and that's it. Considering the massive success of the Vampire franchise, it's been difficult for Lautner to establish himself elsewhere in Hollywood. He was frat boy Andy in Grown Ups 2, and he also played Lil Pete in the Adam Sandler flick The Ridiculous Six, neither of which was the most high profile of parts. I knew that! I knew that! that. <laughs> While a main role on Scream Queens kept him in the spotlight, it doesn't seem like Lautner is a hot commodity in Hollywood as much as he once was. So you'll be happy to know your friend is responding very well. Number three, Jessica Biel. We're just gonna be running around the neighborhood. We won't be two minutes from the house. For years, this American actress seemed like she was always on the cusp of breaking into superstardom. She's a former Seventh Heaven starlet who's been able to maintain a steady career in the movie industry. Add to that the fact that she's married to Justin Timberlake, and things seem to be going pretty well for her. However, she's yet to land that one special role. Yes, she's been in some blockbuster films like The A-Team, Total Recall, and even some notable rom-coms, but Beale still seems to be trending downward, despite her best efforts to display her versatility as an actress. Perhaps Rob Reiner's shock and awe will reignite her career. He's lying! Number two, Taylor Kitsch. Good friends live in large in Texas. This Canadian just can't seem to catch a break. Mostly known as Tim Riggins from the TV series Friday Night Lights, Kitsch's main issue isn't his lack of acting talent, but rather his choice of projects. 2012 should have been his year, but the three movies he starred in, John Carter, Battleship, and Savages, were disappointments either critically, financially, or both. Things were looking up when he was cast in the sophomore season of HBO's True Detective, but the season was nowhere near as well-received as the first. Admirably, Kitsch hasn't slowed down, even though the upper echelons of stardom always seem to be just out of his reach. Never had a fight. Number one, Orlando Bloom. Had you have my bow? There was a time when this English actor was a legit A-lister and a movie heartthrob. In the 2000s, Orlando Bloom reached superstar status with iconic roles in both The Lord of the Rings and the Pirates of the Caribbean franchises, not to mention leading roles in Troy and Kingdom of Heaven. But then Elizabethtown happened. Whimsical. Since then, Orlando has failed to maintain his mainstream mojo, as evidenced by a recent supporting role in the indie dramedy Digging for Fire and a leading role in the flop thriller Unlocked. It's now or never for Orlando Bloom, and it just doesn't seem like Smart Chase will be the mainstream hit that he needs. This is a chance to restore our reputation. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.